people like Sargon of Akkad, Carl, will sit there and be like, well, actually, I'm liberal. Well, actually, I'm liberal, but also fuck all brown people and also fuck immigration and also, uh, yeah, but I'm liberal. Really. Have you seen Armored Skeptic's video where he claims Bill C-16 mandates not binary backgrounds? Nope! Doesn't surprise me, though. Listen, dude, it's the same shit that happened with the fucking New York bill. I'm pretty sure. From what I've heard, I know I'm, po I know I'm correct about the New York bill, and I'm probably correct about the Canadian bill based on everything that I've said, read, and the, what I've seen written about it and whatnot. Basically, the point of these bills was to make it here, so, cause, so you guys can learn something, okay? Because I guarantee you, you've probably seen some fucking retard inbred in your life say some shit online about like, Oh, hey, right. um... <clears throat> By the way, um, did you know that there's a new bill in New York or Canada? New York City, I think. Actually, I think it was a New York City bill, right? I think it was a city thing. Um, there's a New York City bill or a new Canada bill that makes it so that if you accidentally misgender somebody, they can fine you $250,000 and throw you in jail for a year. Oh my god, look, the SJWs are taking over. Bullshit. What these bills typically do, I know what the New York City bill did. Canada bill was, looked like it was phrased pretty similarly. What it essentially does is it brings transgender protections under the same umbrella as sexual um, orientation in terms of being protected. That's all it fucking does. What does this mean for you? That means that if you have an employee that is a transgender employee and you constantly misgender them and you do it in a way to intentionally harass them, right, that you could come under fine similar to if you were using racial slurs or being derogatory towards somebody because of their gender or race or another protected status. That's what these fucking bills do. That's all they fucking do. That's it. So if you walk up to someone on the street and oftentimes the New York City one only applied to tenants or I'm sorry, only applied to like landlord tenant relationships and employer employee relationships. And I think maybe government as well. Right. If you walk up to somebody in the street and you're like, hey, dude, and they're like, I'm not a dude. I'm a dudette. Okay. And I'm calling the police right now, and the SJW police are going to come through each other. That's not what it's for. It's for if you have an employee, and your boss is some shit like, yo, dude, you check out that fucking lady boy? Oh, yeah, I'm going to hit that shit, dude. I'm going to fucking grab me a, I'm gonna grab me a handful of her lady dick, and I'm going to fucking jerk it until there's nothing left. Uh. <laughs> like some shit like that, right? Basically, all it does is it brings transgender status under the same protection as the other protected classes. That's all it fucking did. It wouldn't surprise me that Armored Dipshit would make a video about it not knowing anything that he's talking about because the entire skeptic community on YouTube are literally a bunch of fence-sitting fucking cowards that are too stupid and ignorant to take any position on any issue. So instead, they try to nitpick and criticize the smallest inconsistencies on either side without even understanding what the inconsistencies really are. Holy fuck, the skeptic community on YouTube is fucking cancer. <laughs> If these folks are against feminism, what do they think a woman's role in society is? They probably will answer something along the lines like, women should be free to do whatever they want. But if we look at what our God, Jordan Peterson, tells us, he tells us that women are probably happiest when they're on their knees cleaning or sucking dick or spitting out children because this is a woman's natural place and evolutionary biology has conditioned all of us to protect women so that they can go and be baby-making machines to replenish the white, beautiful society of the genetically superior race on the planet, and then all of us can grow up to be happy because our God, Jordan Peterson, willed it, and he has a PhD, and he's Canadian, so nothing he says can ever be contentious. <laughs> What fence are they sitting on? They're full of anti-progressives and right-wingers? Yeah, but they never come out and admit it! That's the problem! Is people like Rubin, people like Dave Rubin, or people like Sargon of Akkad, Carl, will sit there and be like, Well, actually, I'm liberal. Well, actually, I'm liberal. But also fuck all brown people, and also fuck immigration, and also, uh, yeah. But I'm liberal, because I like minimum wage, right? Yeah. Also, Trump is the best president ever. And also, minorities just need to get their shit together and pull themselves up by their bootstraps. But I think, like, a $15 an hour minimum wage is probably good. Um... Yeah, I think, um... Yeah, anyway, people are really lazy. Nobody really wants to work on their own shit, and I don't think we should be stealing money from people to try... But, um, healthcare is cool. We should keep that. I'm liberal. <laughs> like, 